for watching the Cooking with Jack show. Okay guys, so this is officially our first recipe roulette. Normally recipe roulettes where I open a cookbook, put my finger down and cook whatever that is. But I thought the first one should be something special. So I went to AI and I let them pick the recipe. I said, AI, give me a lazy man recipe. And it spit out this recipe for vegetable toss. All right, sounds really good. Let's get started. I'll bring it in close, show you what it gave me, give me all the ingredients, give me all the instructions. It's kind of cool to, I may do a whole series just on AI cooking. <laughs> Probably not. But anyway, go to your stove, heat it up to 425. By the time you're done preparing all this, everything will be ready to go in. We're doing a double batch, so you're going to see a lot more than probably what the recipe asks. All right? You're looking at some zucchini. You're looking at some uh, yellow potatoes. You're looking at parsley, onions, bell peppers, carrots, and anything else that you like, you can throw in the mix. So basically, we're going to do two trays. We'll prep everything, then we'll bring the seasoning in for the part two. Right now, we're just going to fill this bowl full of vegetables. Okay? So let's prep everything. All right, guys, we're going to start this mix off with potatoes in the bowl. Put your zucchini in. Put your baby carrots. We swapped out to baby carrots. We bought the big ones. We'll use that in another recipe. We already have baby carrots, so we're putting those in the mix. Yellow bell peppers. Red bell peppers. Then we take our onions, dump those in there. All right. Now we're going to put our little seasoning mixture on this and toss it in. You can take a little bit of olive oil. The measurements are down below on the recipe, but I'm eyeballing this because we're making a double, double batch. So I'm going to use a little bit more olive oil than it asked for. So that it will stick to all, everything in this bowl. We're going to get it all mixed together. Okay. Salt. Italian seasoning. The Italian seasoning usually only has rosemary and thyme. We're probably using same amount in oregano right here. Then let's go to basil. Love me some basil. Now that's true Italian seasoning all four. There we go. Okay. And you know me and garlic. Whoops. I like garlic, but Junior just made a dish, so I think we're going to use the rest of this. Now, go wash your hand or get a glove and come back here and throw a little bit more olive oil on top so it doesn't dry out this mixture. There we go. And you're going to toss this. All right, guys. Generously pour them out onto the cookie sheets. You're going to probably, during roasting, you're going to mix once or twice. So make sure you got a good silicone spoon or maybe some silicone grips, tongs or something. But basically 25-30 minutes, these bad boys will be all roasted. Okay. This looks pretty roasted, so let's just kind of give it a garnish a little bit. little bit of parsley all over. Just a little explanation about with regards to my condition. So when I had the stroke, I lost all temperature feeling in this hand. I cannot, that does not feel hot. That just came out of the oven. Feels room temperature. But if I grab it, I will literally feel the pain tingles travel to my brain the warning signs of the body says let go yeah but I won't feel the heat I'll feel the pain so stupid 
but that's starting to get a little different. I'm starting to get a little feeling of temperature back in this hand, but it's interesting. So feeling and temperature are separate in the body. I didn't know that. I thought I'd just share that with you guys because I found it quite interesting. So I think it's cool enough now to try it. Mmm. Oh, that seasoning is great. Mm-hmm. The onions are opaque a little bit. They're crispy and delicious and sweet. You ever notice sweetness comes out of the vegetables when you roast it? All right, guys, I'm going to sit down and have dinner. Once again, first day of the recipe, you were a part of it.